Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the UAE are very forward thinking when it comes to, they've got a lot of women in high positions in government and in politics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they are leading the way in the Middle East with that. Into the A category now, and there's money available in every category, isn't there? There's money available to be won in all, in all three yes, categories. Yes, yes, it's about, it's, it's, about uh, it's a lot. I think it's 10,000 or so for the winner, or uh, if, uh, correct me, you know, when yeah. if you have it, but I would, yeah, it's for money, and uh, it's uh, there's. <laughs> they don't look like much of an A team. <laughs> you were here, and he's, uh, he used to be the photographer for for the Dubai teams, yeah. and for, and he is now bad. He's in action there too. It's uh, good to see that. Um, they we had the flying um, the flying circus there. Another team from the Hurricane Factory. They are in the lead at the moment, um, sharing the lead, and they are also from the from from the Czech Republic. You know, one of the teams that Jan Klapka the. The you know the the godfather of uh, four-way competition in the Czech Republic has has brought you know to to the top level and yeah. so they, the the Czech Republic is quite impressive you know as a they have hosted the World Championship last year and the, then they hosted the win indoor World Meet this year they have a big I mean a growing community of four-way teams and th there was nothing ten years I mean you know there was a national team a few teams but now. Ten years later, after Jan Klapka um, uh, got engaged with the whole thing with his bad boys, um, yeah. the Czech Republic has become a big player in the Indeed. international uh, competition. Wonderful to see that. Now these guys, uh, Singapore uh, Sky. Uh, oh no, it's not, is it? This is uh, A team. Looks like uh, one of the academy teams, isn't yes. it? I, I don't know. It's A class. And uh, the academy, especially in the A class, it is super interesting, <laughs> fun to watch it. Well, this is uh, this is A team from Singapore. Oh, that's, that's the A team. Think, yeah. okay. okay, okay. They were yeah, they finished off overnight. Let's have a look for A team, Singapore seventh place, forty one points. So they're getting well, well eight, ten, twelves, and elevens. That's where they yeah. uh, they're, they're at in the A. It's uh, it's competitive, and uh, now again, complete. I mean, just a, a tunnel team, um, uh, another iFly wind tunnel in in Singapore, I believe it is. Yeah. And um, they, the, it, it's bringing so many new competitors into into our world, and I cannot say that often enough. You know how how good it, uh, it is to see. Um, Wind tunnels popping up like mushrooms all over the planet. There's so yeah. many. This yeah. is another one of the Academy French teams. This is Aircart uh, Academy 3. Yeah. Six plays overnight, 45 points, nine points on the last round. And look at them. They're Tiny. really kids, you know. Yeah. And the fun thing is their parents, their parents uh, formed pickup teams before coming here. So we have last minute and blue, uh, half blue or whatever, yeah. something with blue. Where all the parents or many of the uh, parents are flying, and the kids are beating them, yeah. of course. Yes. You know, if you look at the leaderboard, um, it, especially in the A class, you know that that team is ahead of their parents in in the, and we have similar situations between the other uh, Academy teams. Um, their, their other parents are in like Monaco Vitalsea has one parent in the a father in the four-way lineup, two more fathers in the eight-way lineup, yeah. and their kids are here and they uh, they're sitting. You know, you don't see them now, but they're outside and cheering them. You know, <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a great atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Next up, we've got a pickup team, uh, all free flyers really. They just put the, uh, they just started doing a little bit of belly flying. Four girls who live out here in the UAE calling themselves Elate. Overnight, eighth place, 37 points. They, they they got together last week and they've been in the tunnel every morning at 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Yeah, I talked to them actually. It's an interesting lineup. Two Germans. Yep. One UK um, lady yep. or two from the UK, two Germans. And they were here, uh, they li live or work here and, yep. and just decided, okay, yeah, le let's go and have some fun at the competition. Um, f fun story. So uh, we can they're flying actually quite nicely. You they're know? really, uh, you know, I think the first tunnel meet, the, well, the first tunnel uh, session they had last week, I think they were bouncing off each other a little bit and they seem to have really gelled now. Look at the levels are good, the concentration's there, they're watching through yeah, the Yeah, there was one German face there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tina in the uh, pink grip, she's a uh, German. Steffi, uh -huh. uh, here just with her back to us now, she's German. Claire on the left, UK. And uh, Siobhan there. Uh, I think she's American, Siobhan, isn't she? Yeah, I love to watch the faces. It, it is so much fun. You just don't get this, you know, when, you're, I mean, when you're skydiving, you don't, not from the outside, you know, you can see your, your partner across, your clone yeah. or your center p uh, partner, but you don't see it like this, you They're know. Very like happy. Like an observer, yeah. yeah. Good, good atmosphere, good spirits. And 
that, that is something that has also changed so nicely over the years, um, you know, the, the atmosphere. It's all like friendly and, you know, and they all know each other and they support each other and yeah. cheer each other up. You know, it's not like you're my opponent any longer. It's all just really nice and fun and friendly. And this like is the th team you were talking about with the parents. Is it Blue Phoenix? They 37 points overnight, ninth place. No, wow, they look actually, wow, look at this, that's a great place. Oh no, it's Amnesia, that Amnesia. That must be one of the top teams. Yeah, they're in third place on 64. Oh. So oh, yeah. It, yeah. That's an Italian team, they are. they're from Italy, yeah. And they have, they have competed actually, if I, s I know that I'm familiar with their team name, they competed at the Italian Nationals this year. I think they won the Italian Nationals in their category, actually. In, a, in, in the rookie co category? Or yeah, in a rookie class or A-class rookie class. I don't know. I have to look it up. Uh, but in, a, in one of the lower categories, they have that also. They adapted the, one of the categories in Italy. Um, and you could, you could see that they are. You know, it was a completely different pace. So yes. they, they probably tried to win this uh, category, I can see. And take home some cash. Yeah, it is uh, over seven thousand dollars each. As an per A class person. team, you Not know. Bad. I mean, that's that's the only competition that I know where you can win cash in those categories. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's a f I, I think that's a great thing. Again, thanks to. But does it encourage people to kind of play the game a little bit with a bit of skills and enter a lower category? <sighs> Maybe. Who Possibly. knows? Yeah. Again, <laughs> you know, I. No, I, you know, I'm a blue-eyed, innocent, uh, positive thinker, <laughs> so I say no. <laughs> of course not. They are all honest and nice, and they just <laughs> want to have fun. <laughs> I think I would. If I was a commentator, I'd be down there trying to get $8,000 $8, in my pocket. <laughs> I have a plan for next year. I'm going to come here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's if now that I know. <laughs> we'll do a team together. So this yeah. is Blue Phoenix now. They, they finished ninth overnight, 31 points. The, the, are these the uh, parents of some of these younger... Blue Phoenix, yes, yeah. yes, that's one of the uh, lineup with parents. I don't have all the names, um, you know, in my head, but I know that uh, that's one of the teams with the parents of the Ectomy um, uh, participants, by the team members. And Next up, UAE Flat Namik. They they finished um, fifth overnight, forty six points after four rounds. Yeah, which is also not really. It's not a no. It is. There are some um, Arabian faces. I guess it is a local team. A real yeah, we got team. these uh, two staff here from uh, Scotland. Yeah, Dubai. Oh, great. So good, good. We, we, uh, it's it's good to see because we have a lot of foreigners actually uh, also here in in the teams. I mean, you know, who are living here, working yes. here now, and of course, it's very logical that they also compete then for for UAE. But it's great to see if you have the um, the indigenous, um, you know, people here um, yes. uh, becoming skydivers and joining, you know, the competition world. Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot more Emiratis now getting involved yes, in the sport. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, you know, they really are uh, putting their heart and soul into it, in the canopy piloting and in the uh, free mm -hmm. fly, you know, the, the four-way dynamic, the two-way dynamic, and in the FS as well. And they are very talented. And something else caught my attention, actually, you know, yesterday watching, um, you know, again, looking at faces and stuff. They are very calm and collected, which is really a great um, you know, uh, uh, character to have. Yeah. If you are doing four-way competition, you know, being collected and calm while, you're d while the full action is happening around you, it's not that easy. No, it's and not. if you look at the game faces, you know, the, the not everybody is like that. But if you look at the faces of like the Dubai teams and the Qatar teams, and you know, it's like, like just a walk in the park and not, nothing gets them excited apparently, even though they go fast. Joint first place flying circus in first place yeah, with the uh, That's Singapore all Skyblockers. Mm -hmm. So th you know they they certainly want that cash prize. And you know what this it's also they also I hope I wish for them because Jan Klapka told me those folks are really the ones who are living in a camper. Right. You know they 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 just do what they can. They spend their money, their time, and everything. Look at how clean that is. So uh, these are not just a lot of instructors that I've got together. That is a nice clean. Uh, they are yeah. very. Look at this. I mean, that's perfect. Nice. So yeah, they deserve it. You know, they 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 have uh, dedicated their lives to to what they do now, and uh, we will see more of them. You know, that's not the end here. And yeah. I'm sure they're going to move up next year to the double A, and then move on. So a nice a nice performance there. Great team name. Uh, team name. Next, Kurt, hardcore handholders. <laughs> in um, just uh, just uh, off the bottom there, tenth place, sixteen points. That's yeah. It. Also, uh, oh, this has got Jared. Yeah. Now, he's oh, a, a machine. Okay. He's a wingsuiter. He's a base jumper. Huh. Uh, he's doing an FS now. Free, he does a canopy piloting too, and uh, he's paralysed. He's in a wheelchair. 
Nice. So he, he is a, um, he's a local or where is he? Yeah, he's an American. Uh, he works here at Scala Dubai now. He's a rigger. And uh -huh. uh, he's in there with uh, with uh, Mike from Mac Toom and a couple of other staff as well. But he's just throwing himself into every aspect of competition. We had him doing canopy piloting last year in the uh, Dubai International Sweep League. So you can imagine him, you know, landing in the pond and he's being dragged out of the water there. He, he's base jumped off the uh, Princess Tower, that viral video which went <laughs> crazy. He's just an wow, absolutely, impressive. he makes me feel lazy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's always up to something, you know. He makes, <laughs> look at him now free flying around the tunnel. Yeah, uh, I, 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 impressive. Absolutely, That's all I absolutely. Can say he, he, got, uh, he, he got injured on a base jump and uh, he broke his back. And that's why he's now in a wheelchair, and he's uh, he's an inspiration. Yeah, an inspiration to, uh, to anybody, to the role you know, model probably from you know that yeah. you can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind into it. Absolutely. Yeah, great. And he's, he's such a good guy as well, you know. And he I gets a lot of faith. he <laughs> gets a lot of applause too all the time. Yeah. He's flying, and he deserves it. You know. Like Absolutely. It, yeah. It's he's a, a great <laughs> great star. thing to have uh, to maintain a spirit like this. <laughs> you know, keeping. It's yeah. hard enough. He packs my reserve. Oh, he does. Yep. Last minute next. These are currently at the bottom of the pack. Uh, 14 points. They've had a two, a four, a six, and a two. Let's get a few last points from here. Last minute. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's another parent group there. So yeah. let's see. Uh, now the French delegation will go crazy again on the outside. On they're sitting there always when whenever the French teams are, you have the whole bleachers filled with a, <laughs> you know with the French. It's very user friendly. It's very atmosphere friendly. This yeah. stuff's on. There's and you know what? I'm so glad to see that too, because you know, you know what? Uh, we know what the French went through in the last weeks. You now with the yeah. whole, not only with the terrible terror attacks, uh, you know, but also the follow up. You know, the yeah. the scare, the the, yeah. the fear, the life changing on you know on the streets and every with all the security measures and stuff. And now here they are a few weeks later and. You know, having a great time. Yeah, D D Domi, my co-presenter, she's from Paris. You know, and mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it's great to see them they're carrying on as normal. Right, the and several of them are from Paris. You know, yeah. live in Paris and w witness that. So, he, and it's so great to see that they're here and and uh, you know, le not letting that uh, getting under their skin. Well, here we go now with the top of the pack in joint position with the checks that we saw, the Flying Circus. These are the Singapore Sky Blockers. Yeah, and then enough. Yeah, let's uh, look at the uniform. The kids love that. Yeah. That's one of the great things. You know, I remember when I was in that age, and I put on my soccer uniform. Yeah. You know, when the game it was game time. Gosh, were we proud of that? Absolutely. You know, and we felt we are part of something. Yeah. So great. Now start with that. And the the French um, Act Acti Me teams. They started with that too. I remember like three years ago when the project started. They were all uniform. Yeah. First thing, you know, get them uniform and. It looks nice and they are proud of it and makes them feel like, you know, they learn teamwork, you know, and blah, blah, all the good stuff. And we were talking with this, uh, with, with Domi yesterday about, you know, these kids that are starting young, are they going to become champions? And she says, well, she's not too sure. You know, they, a lot of times when you're a child, you'll get into something. She was yeah. a big horse rider as a kid. And then when she got to a teenager, it kind of drifted away. 